Drew. Drew. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our first vlog on the channel in a really, really long time. I don't think we've done a vlog on the channel in years. And I think the last vlog we did was probably SmackDown. I think we sat like second or third row and we went through the thing. I think we've done this two times pre previously on the channel. If you guys have never been here, thanks for coming by. I don't know how many other people are going to view this besides my main viewers, but welcome aboard, man. We're going to be hitting up SmackDown Live in Birmingham, Alabama tonight. I have front row tickets. Never sat front row before. Should be very exciting. I can't wait to get into it with you. We're going to just kind of take care of the day, you know, showcase everything that's going on. Hopefully I get some cool clips for you guys, showcase what it's like to sit front row, and hopefully it's enjoyable. I am riding alone, you know, nobody gives a shit about me. But nonetheless, man, we're going to make it an enjoyable time. I'm going to bring you guys with me, and it should be really fun. So what we're going to do is go ahead, and I want to show you guys what I'm wearing to the show, actually, because uh, throwbacks, man, throwbacks. I'm not wearing this to the show. I mean, I kind of am. Let's hit it. All right, guys, so here we are in the room, and this is my option. So I was going to go Chain Gang Soldier basketball jersey or Chain Gang Soldier baseball jersey. I put it on my Instagram story and asked you guys to vote on it. It was between these two or the WWE Champions Here shirt or the Chain Gang camo shirt. And I believe the baseball jersey won, and I was actually going to wear it regardless, so... The poll was rigged, but it ended up winning, so it, it all pays off, but had to rock the goat, you know? OG Chain Gang Soldier. These are original jerseys from the time they released, so I'm very excited to wear these. I don't know if we'll see anybody wearing something like this tonight, man. You know, we gotta rock the goat, so. Anyways, man, I don't know what's next on this vlog, but I'm getting ready to leave town, so let's go ahead and hit it. And we are in the car now. I am getting ready to leave town. It'll look terrible. Woof. I'm actually meeting a couple friends for lunch first. They're not sitting with me. They're actually sitting in a different section. So I don't know how that well how well that'll go. I don't know if I'll even vlog any of that or whatever the case is. I, I believe we're going to mug shots. So we'll see what's up with that. I think I'm gonna get the McDowell burger. Always a clutch burger. Let me know if you get anything from mug shots down below. Nonetheless, I'm hitting the road right now. I think I'm actually a little bit behind them because they're closer to Birmingham when they're at work. So let's get it rolling. out of my face is horrific. My left side's pretty handsome. But people have been asking me who I want to see tonight. And since it's WrestleMania season, I guess anything could possibly happen. But I'm really just hoping to see Brock, Ronda, Roman, and Ricochet. If I see those four, even just seeing Brock in person will be amazing. I, I do want to see Brock Lesnar, maybe get some selfies or something like that. I'll try to plug them in the video if I end up do getting selfies or videos or whatever the case is. I hate that somebody's not with me to film because I could hand them the camera and then, you know, let them get the shots as we as we go here but you know you gotta wing it alone sometimes it's lonely at the top you know what they say nonetheless we're on our way to the restaurant i don't know if we'll do any stops along the way probably not because i'm already behind so but all you can really do is build a bridge and get over it so here we are man Alright guys, just made it to Birmingham right now. You guys can see kind of like the cityscape and stuff like that. And so, I'm about to come to this red light right here, I do believe. Still have a little bit till the show starts, you know, so we gotta, we're gonna take care of some things and all of that different stuff, but I'll continue to update you guys as we go, but uh, yeah. Our boys just pulled into the parking lot. Don't really know where I'm going. About to park real quick and then, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna walk to the Degum restaurant. Again, I'm alone, boy. I don't know, I might get taken, but I'll see y'all. All right, guys, I'm here on the floor and I just met the coolest security dude ever. His name's Bob. Bob, do you wanna be on camera or no? All right, that's Bob. He's a baller. He let us. It, well, I mean, I have I have a good seat. I'm sitting right here, and uh, just just an awesome experience. Like you got the announce table right here. You got timekeepers area. We're legitimately right behind the timekeepers area, and this show's about to rock. Bob's the coolest guy ever. We've been chatting for like 30 minutes. He's amazing. You guys can see everything going on. Unbelievable experience. 
and yeah, it's just amazing, man. So we're just hanging out, waiting on the show to start. I think the show starts, what, an hour? Yeah, we still have about an hour, so I'll probably hang out a little bit. I might go to the merch table and stuff, but... Whew. Oh, yeah, you got the WrestleMania sign. Pretty cool. But, yeah, man, we're just hanging out, and uh, I'll update you guys soon. John, what are you getting? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? You're no. on camera, by the way. Oh, I don't know. I like the Hall of Fame run ticket. Uh -huh. He got out of the figure game, so now he can afford a belt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if they can hear me. Hopefully they can. What are you getting? I don't know. Brad said he wanted something. I don't know what I'm gonna get. We'll see. They got some good stuff over there. We'll have to find out, but we're gonna. I don't know. I might just buy a universal title for the hell of it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I think. I think. Dude, if that's. Oh my God. I think it is, bro. Dude, are you serious? Is there a street dog right here? Dude, no way. That's gonna take, I mean, the show starts in like 20 minutes. You probably can get it during the half. Yeah, but I'm on the floor, I gotta sprint. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> let's go, dude. Dude, that's sweet, bro. How much did you pay? Like 500. 500? That's a steal. This is like the, it ain't like the real one. Oh, okay. It's still dope, though. Can I feel it? That is really nice. Dude, that's sick, bro. Dude, that is that's awesome. awesome. Dude, that's, that's legit. Sweet. That's awesome, bro. Are you a Steelers fan? Yeah, go Steelers, bro. We were kind of, we were let down. Big Ben held us back, bro. We're going to be back. We'll be back. Hey, go Steelers. Hey, man, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. This is Bob. He's awesome. Love Bob. Me and Bob, since I couldn't come with anybody, Bob's my guy.
the Queen. Oh, hell, hell. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> to all madness in your madness.
way to be. He's amazing. He is. He really is. I wish we'd have been up here to see Brock Lesnar. Oh, oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tuscaloosa. Okay, roll time, Roll baby. time, man, yeah. Hey, you want to be on the channel? You want to be on the channel? Oh, yeah. What's up? This MDT is the best YouTuber of all time, and that's the bottom line, because I said so. Subscribe to MDT, or else I'm going to whoop your butt. There you go, yeah. I appreciate it, bro. Good to meet you, man. Thank y'all so much. Show just ended. We're walking back. What'd y'all think? Amazing. <laughs> I wanted to acknowledge Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that before. It was crazy. <laughs> Acknowledging the Tribal Chief. Yeah, no Roman Reigns. That was the worst part for sure. He's scared of He's scared. He, Roman fears MDT. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable, you know. Are you serious? That's what they said. What? They said Biggie broke his neck. I hope no. that's not real. That's what they just said. Well, hopefully they just, Dude, they're assuming, bro. Oh, no, that, I hope not. I hope not, too. It looked bad. I want to say I got it on video. I might have got it on video. I can look it up on uh, Instagram. Twitter or, Twitter, yeah. yeah. I'm looking at it. Pretty fire show. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable experience, to be honest. Now I got about to get wet. Just oh, tear. That, that, that older man in the blue pullover. I thought he was about to come over the barricade on board. Right behind you towards the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call him out. There was a dude in an Alabama jacket that was, like, like talking sh to him. And Corbin literally looked him up and down and was just like... <laughs> like, he, like, sh like shredded him kind of without even saying a word. Like, his facial expressions did it all. Oh, boy. There was a guy out here s s slinging a, a damn sledgehammer around earlier with a paper sack just stumbling all over the sidewalk. I know, bro. He's about to, about to come out of the bushes, bro. You got to be safe. All right, guys. I am back home after the vlog. Or after the vlog. This is the end of the vlog, you stupid jackass. I'm back home after SmackDown. I went to SmackDown in Birmingham, and it was amazing, man. Honestly, it was such a fun time just through and through. Not only just watching the wrestling and WWE and shows and seeing all the superstars and, you know, getting to practically meet Drew McIntyre and getting to fist bump Pat McAfee and all those different things, man. Just the experience as a whole, man. Like, just going up to the arena. Got to meet, like, a handful of fans, which is, was amazing. Amazing man. Huge shout out to my man Bryant Ballinger, Corey from Coleman, Michael from Vestavia, Elgin and his brother. I think that was their names. I don't think they ever told me their names. I just guess. I think they had a name tag or something like that, and I just kind of paid attention. So yeah, man, those fans that came up to me and introduced themselves and said that they watched the channel and enjoyed the channel and were such big fans, man. That meant the world to me, man. It really touched my heart. So a huge shout out to all of you guys. You guys were incredible. All the parents that I met, everybody there, man, y'all were just so incredibly amazing. And I, I just I'm super grateful for everybody that watches the video videos and checks out the channel and just uh, came up to me, man. I'm sure there were some people that watched this and maybe saw me that didn't come up, but that's okay. Man. I plan on doing like going to some events around the state, maybe the Southeast region, and maybe we can do like a meet and greet that way and, you know, just hang out, whatever the case. Planning going to some of those events that way, you know, we can do meetups and, you know, maybe we can have some nice merch by then and things of that nature. Nonetheless, man, the show was amazing. Just like, just a great experience, man. It was a great first experience sitting row one. I also apologize for the lighting and stuff like that. I would, I'm like dog tired, bro. Oh my god. It's like almost 1 a.m. now, finally getting back home and filming this. And so I didn't feel like setting everything up, man. I you okay? Alright, I'm exhausted. So, I wasn't gonna do it. You know, long long day of filming, long day of driving and filming and sitting through the show and going through everything, man. High emotions, all those things. Also, sat by a gentleman and I couldn't hear his name because when he told me his name, music was blaring really loud, but he was really, really cool. We literally chopped it up the whole damn show, man. He was amazing. We were cutting up. We laughed like a hundred times. I mean, he was, he was incredible as well well, man. So if he finds a channel somehow, then huge shout out to you, man. I want to say his, he said his name was Brandon, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I may have butchered that. But nonetheless, man, really fun time at the show. I do want to say I do 
have an update on Big E. I don't know if I put any footage in there. I don't know if I have the clip of him actually getting hurt, but I am definitely going to be praying hard for Big E, man. Apparently, he did actually break his neck on that fall, and I thought it was a super scary fall, and I was worried about him, but I was hoping that it was like a broken collarbone or something, but then when they brought the stretcher out, I was like, no, this is serious. I could tell by the reactions of everybody around, the crew, the, you know, the, the timekeeper's area. Everybody, you could tell that they were genuinely worried in the way they huddled around him, and when they brought the stretcher out, I was like, okay, well, hopefully this is just precautionary, and because anytime you go down with some sort of neck, if you just, go, if he would have landed on his arm and then told them, yo, my neck feels kind of weird, they would have they would have done the same thing. It's always a precautionary thing from a sports background. Anytime a kid had any type of neck deal, bro, they don't they don't play around with it because you can seriously mess yourself up. But it seems like Biggie is in good spirits, which is a great thing. But I definitely will be praying for a speedy recovery for him. I know he's going to bounce back amazingly. And Birmingham is an amazing place for sports, science, and things like that. I'm sure he'll go to Dr. Andrews for his rehab. A bunch of wrestlers have over the time, but that's besides the point, man. I hope that Biggie makes a full recovery and everything's good like that. That was a very scary situation right there. But I had a ton of fun at the show, man. Very great to meet everyone, man. Thank you guys so much. If you guys didn't come up or if I didn't meet you, I hope to meet you next time at whatever event is possible, man. But what a fun day. What a fun adventure. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm not the best vlogger. You know, I'm trying to get better at it, but it's not my forte. So if it sucked or the, you know, some things were weird or whatever, man, I do apologize, man. But that is going to wrap up the vlog. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on the show, the vlog, the everything. If you guys were at the show and you saw me but didn't speak, you can let me know. Or I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and don't cross the line. Like injuries when they come for Big E. We don't play with that. You cross the line. I've been beaten.